In the wake of serious allegations against the late Mohammed Al-Fayed, the former owner of Harrods, the Metropolitan Police have launched an exploration into potential new criminal charges. This development follows a recent BBC investigation where over 20 ex-employees of Harrods came forward with harrowing testimonies, accusing Al-Fayed of sexual assault and rape over several decades. The police have urged anyone else with unresolved complaints to come forward, ensuring their claims will be treated with the utmost seriousness. Amid the investigation, law enforcement has identified 19 allegations spanning from 1979 to 2013, leading to crimes being logged between 2005 and 2023. These include three classified as rape, 15 as sexual assault, and one related to trafficking. This intensified scrutiny seeks to uncover any further incriminating evidence that could substantiate these serious claims. The Metropolitan Police have sought cooperation from the Crown Prosecution Service on multiple occasions since 2005, but no further action had been taken until this renewed effort. Commander Stephen Clayman has reiterated the importance of lending a voice to victims who have carried the weight of these allegations for years. He underlined the commitment of the police force to meticulously review all existing complaints against Al-Fayed to unearth potentially new leads. To support this initiative, dedicated teams within the police are actively working with legal representatives and organizations connected to the allegations. The priority, Clayman emphasized, is to provide support and a platform for the victims, ensuring their long wait for justice gains momentum. Reacting to the news, Harrods managing director Michael Ward addressed the toxic culture Al-Fayed allegedly nurtured during his tenure. Ward acknowledged the widespread rumors about Al-Fayed's reprehensible behavior expressing deep regret for the company's failure to protect its employees. He issued a formal apology, emphasizing that the current Harrods culture starkly contrasts with that of Al-Fayed's era. Ward emphasized that swift actions would have been taken had law enforcement or any other credible channels issued formal notifications about the misconduct. In their response to these revelations, Harrods has initiated a settlement process for the victims and has undergone a thorough review over the past year. They have introduced 50 specially trained sexual harassment officers to support employees facing similar allegations. This initiative marks a significant shift in Harrods' approach, striving to foster a safe and respectful work environment, and illustrates their commitment to addressing past wrongs and ensuring such abuses do not recur in the future.